This next gentleman is a three-time Broadway veteran. Give it up for the comedy of Mr. Bill Dawes. Give it up. <laughs> yeah, three-time Broadway veteran. Anyone see me on Broadway? That's why I'm here tonight. Um, who gives a shit about theater, right? I do plays. No one cares. It's definitely not a panty dropper. It really isn't. But people from back home in Virginia, they're so ignorant. I always hear all drunk, like, ugh, you must get a lot of pussy doing Broadway. You must get a lot of pussy doing Broadway. I'm always like, ugh, not really, Mom. Uh, <laughs> why are you, why are you drunk? Well, I got some good news. I got ass out on a date by a girl. Uh, round of who gives a shit for that, yeah. She asked me out to the sushi restaurant. I showed up early, wearing a blazer like a dick. I was all... <laughs> I was all excited. I, was, I needed it for my self-esteem, because I'd been dumped uh, recently, like four years ago. Anyone, anyone here been dumped before? A few of you, the rest of you guys are all fucking undefeated in relationships. That's cool. And, and I was at the sushi, and I was wondering, like, why is this the first time I've been asked out on a dinner date by a girl? I'm not saying I'm a catch. <laughs> no, I know I'm not, because I was reading uh, Cosmo magazine the other day. Uh, fuck you, it was at the dentist. It didn't have highlights. And, um, but on the cover of Cosmo was an article, what women want in a man. Ladies, what do you think the number one thing a woman wants a man, according to Cosmo? What do you think it is, ladies? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, someone said money over there. How about someone who's not a whore? Anyone want to... <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe that's true. According to Cosmo, the number one thing a woman wants a man is a sense of humor. <laughs> Bam. And then they had a list of jobs they wanted their man to have, and none of those fucking jobs was stand-up comedian. Because <laughs> according to Cosmo, women want a funny doctor. <laughs> or a hilarious lawyer, or a silly CEO who cracks fart jokes, hey. I think a funny doctor would be weird, imagine that. Hey, Bob, have your test results back? <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> Ebola who? <laughs> a bowl of chicken noodle soup ought to help you, Bob. You got a cold, Bob. Get the fuck out, Bob. You got a cold. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, please don't applaud that. I'm a professional comic. I told a fucking knock, knock joke. <laughs> You know how much weed I'd have smoked to figure that fucking joke out, by the way? <laughs> a lot. I got prescription medical marijuana. Anyone else? <laughs> Just me? No, I need it, though, for real, because I have a couple broken, a couple broken dreams. Um, <laughs> mostly my parents' dreams. Anyone else to disappoint me to their parents? <laughs> you guys are all undefeated in relationships. And not, that's cool. I have two older brothers, I swear to God, and they're both doctors, right? And they're both married. And they both married doctors just to be fucking assholes. <laughs> Hanging on my family. It's a, this is my dad's intro after I'm at a family function. Oh, have you met my family yet? This is Dr. Dawes, Dr. Dawes, Dr. Dawes, Dr. Dawes. <laughs> fucking Bill. He's single, lives alone, pushing 40. No, he's not retarded. <laughs> then everyone talks to me like I'm retarded. So, Bill, you live in New York, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, you do theater, really? Yeah. Do you like candy? <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, I do. So, guy, all right, I might be a little retarded, whatever, but. <laughs> I still feel like I should have been asked out on a dinner date before this time in my life. Now I'm at the sushi restaurant, I'm getting pissed. Because listen, I've had sex with women before. I ha no, I have. I mean, not, not for free. Because you don't have to pay for apple teas and shit. 
But what does that mean that a woman will take me in, but she won't take me out? She'll play, but she won't pay. She'll have sex, but she won't pick up checks. That's fucked up. Yeah. It means women get very selective in their feminism, very selective. You tell a woman, equal work, equal pay. Yes, all women. Vote for Hillary. Yes, all women. Pay for your own drinks. Wait, time out. Wait, no. Mm -mm. No. That's not very romantic, Bill. What about romance? Don't you believe in romance? Fucking no, I don't. It's not real, it's a marketing ploy. You think it's real in those movies? You had me at hello. If you have a girl at hello, you're getting chlamydia, okay? That's a fact. And just because I don't believe in romance doesn't mean I'm a bad guy, I'm a gentleman, I'm chivalrous, I hold the door open for bitches and stuff. But let me tell you something. Ladies, these are jokes. <laughs> we don't pay because of romance, we pay for power and control. The more control we want, the more money we spend. We've created this vicious circle in society where the hotter a woman is or thinks she is, the less she's gonna pay for shit. Like a seven will pay for dinner occasionally, an eight won't even reach for a fucking purse, a nine doesn't have a fucking purse, a 10 has a vague idea of what money actually looks like. She, she knows there's a barter system set up. She can travel and take selfies. A six has a purse with four credit cards, two debit cards, a Walgreens card, a checkbook, a stack of coup coupons, a laser pointer for a cat, a coin purse with a Sacagawea coin, breath mints, makeup, more makeup, a rape whistle she's never gonna use. And a scrunchie, a scrunchie to get blowjobs, because that's how a six stays in the game. All right, you know what I'm saying? All right, hold on. We just met, I know you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Bill, Bill, what about a five? Good question, audience, good question. Here's the thing, as a woman, you can't be a five. You're an automatic six points. Standard floor model, bare minimum as a woman, six points. You can't be a five as a woman. The only way you can be a woman and be a five is if you're like, I mean, Caitlyn Jenner is pretty much. You know, a year ago, the punch was Bruce Jenner it fucking killed, I get it. Actually, I, I don't want to be, be too political. Someone from the transgender community approached me after a show and she said, listen, Bill, if you're gonna make fun of Caitlyn, she knows what she's been up to in the community. And I don't want to get too, but whatever. I wrote down some stuff, it's pretty amazing. She donated $100,000 to a safe house in New York. Um, she visited a, a victim of a hate crime in the hospital. She's gonna speak at the UN next month and she's helping draft a bill for equal rights. Uh, to, uh, she's helping for the Senate. Did you guys hear about this? Did you hear about it? No, yeah, because it didn't fucking happen, guys, okay? <laughs> She hasn't done shit. She is a Kardashian. She hasn't even saved a gay kitten from a tree. Everyone says she's so brave, posed on the cover of Vanity Fair and her like a onesie in high heels. Really, how is that brave? She is a 65-year-old woman. She is a senior citizen. It would have been brave if she posed on the cover of AARP. Instead of the outfit, maybe having mom jeans, a big sweatshirt covering her diabetes belly, a salt and pepper, let me talk to a manager haircut. <laughs> Easy spirit tennis shoes so she can power walk around the mall with her orange Julius looking for beanie babies. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the sushi restaurant, right? <laughs> That's what we were talking about, right? It's a good day, right? Two hours. Then I see the waiter with a bill. He just starts beeline to me, and I'm looking at her, looking. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting there like, mm -hmm, I'm an eight. <laughs> and then the waiter basically puts a bill in my fucking face. I look, and it looks like a goddamn home equity loan. <laughs> Remember, she asked me out. So I go, hey, what's up? Aren't you going to pay for this? And she goes, you know what, Bill? It's our first date, and I'm old-fashioned. <laughs> you believe it? I know. Ah, that's cool. I'm old-fashioned, too. So I slapped her for talking back. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much.